Hi, my name is Cody Dickinson. I'm a second year PhD student in the Jalesco lab, and I've been studying poison ivy for about four years now. I'm interested in its ecology and how it interacts with other species, particularly animals, and also how and why it makes the chemical urethiol. So a lot of people say that poison ivy likes edge habitats. It likes to grow at the edge of your lawn or along roadways or along sidewalks. But actually the scientific literature is not so clear cut. And the idea was, okay, if we put out 2,000 poison ivy seeds, how many of those seeds will actually produce plants? And then how many of those seedlings will survive for up to three years? In which case, I found that after one year of this, a lot of plants come out of the ground, but not many of those plants survive. And I think a lot of those plants are being eaten by animals. If there was something else causing all the death in my other experiment, we would expect to see symptoms related to wilt or disease. However, most of what I found was plants were there one week and then completely gone the next week. And that sounds like something like a deer or some sort of other animal was eating my plants. So what we've set up in this experiment is actually an exclosure system. And using these sort of fences where we have three different levels of exclosure, we can keep out animals of different sizes. So what this experiment showed us is that something's eating poison ivy. What we don't know is exactly what it is. So by setting up these fences and putting out these game cameras and using the insecticide, we can start to parse down exactly what animals are eating poison ivy, whether it's big things like deer, small things like rabbits, or even insects.